I got a feeling one might have been stung. Right then, this is a bee video, but the, before we start, I just wanted to say, I haven't been stung by a bee in my eye. It looks like it. I've got a flipping eye infection. You might have seen I mentioned it the other day on the video. Well, it went down and now it's come back up again. Oh, it's a bit sore. I'm just waiting for it to go. So bear with me. That's why I look like I've done 10 rounds of Mike Tyson, if you're old enough to know who Mike Tyson is. Right, bee update. Right, John is coming over. And we're going to be looking at um, some bees in a bit. We're also going to be doing a bee split, which is pretty, uh, a hive split. Oh, hang on, there's someone coming up to drive now. That might be him. Car come in, perhaps. Uh, oh, it's Sam, coming back with Harry from school. Um, anyway, we're doing a hive split. So I'm, I'm not very technical on that. Just to check his message a minute. I've got his phone here. Uh, coming with Jane at six, so we've got a few minutes. Jane is someone who's been helping out John um, with kind of tips on how to do this. I mean, this is a lovely project. So, um, because basically John is someone who started from scratch, just got his information from books and from YouTube and stuff, uh, and he's trying to create um, some hives and get some honey. And I think this is admirable because he hasn't actually gone out and bought a swarm of bees. He hasn't gone out and bought a hive. He's actually built his own hive. He's also uh, captured the bees himself in a swarm trap, which he made himself. So it's a really good project. And we're watching this. You might follow. He's been watching this from the start. We're going to follow this all the way through till we get some honey. In the meantime while I'm waiting for him, I'll just show you what I've bought. Okay, so I've bought a really naff purchase off an, on eBay. I figured I needed to get myself some bee protection, uh, but <laughs> being, being a bit of a tight ass, I bought a cheap one. Look at this. I'm not really sure whether this is gonna be any good. I, it's certainly not gonna stop them stinging me, but uh, through the material. Right, bear with me, okay? The first time I've tried this on, straight out of the packet. It was only about eight quid. Oh. Hello. Oh, look at this. I could wear this as fancy dress. So it's really obvious that the material is quite thin. It's not going to stop me being stung through. But but it's the it's the bit around the face that I'm more worried about. And this is actually it's actually all right. Hello. I can see it. My peripheral vision is a bit, I'm a bit like a robot now. Anyway, I'll tell you the good thing is you can't see my eyes so well. So I can wear this as long as I don't get the bees inside. It's got tight cuffs. So I got this off eBay, it's about eight quid, I think, which for the amount of times I'm gonna be down there, I think it's fine. If I was a, a professional beekeeper, I'm sure they'd laugh at me for wearing this. But it, what it means is I can put a pair of gloves on um, and then I can get close to, with the camera, with this camera, to the hive. Because at the moment I'm just doing zoom stuff. But we're going to, hopefully today, I'm going to get a bit closer. So, anyway, we'll wait for uh, Jane and John to turn up. Jane and John and the beekeep, beekeeping episode. Jane and John do bees. Right, so we're going we're gonna to see them when they arrive. And we'll have a look at the bees. We're going to split the hive. So what, what I think the issue is, and John will explain more about this, is that... Um, you know we had a swarm trap the other day over in the field and there were some bees going in there. What he's worried about is that those might actually be bees from his hive looking to uh, escape or run away from his hive, if you like, because maybe they think there's not enough room. So what he's going to do, I think, if I'm right, he's going to split the hive into two so that they don't swarm. Right, anyway, we'll crack on. We'll get some proper information in my... Well, I'm in my naff. Look at this. I feel like... I feel like a fly, like a bee. What do you reckon? Do you think I'll make a professional beekeeper now, John? Hey, look at me. 
Oh, it's rubbish. It's it's nine ninety nine's worth of rubbish. It'll do. It'll do for today, won't it? Let's have a look, what have you bought over then? Just a hive. So, I've just done a little bit to camera telling us what we're going to do, but you need yeah. to explain a bit better. What yeah. You're splitting the hive or something, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really, I've never done this before, so yeah. change coming down and give okay. us a hand. Uh, but yeah, what she says, you'll split the six frames out of the old hive. Right, into there. Into there, and these six yeah. will go into that. Okay, and, and then just, the idea, what's the idea behind that? Uh, just to stop them swarming, because it's we find those swarm cells the other day. Yeah. It's been like five swarm cells. Uh, oh yeah, explain uh, what the swarm cells are. It's like a, it's like a little... A cocoon about that big. Yeah. At the bottom, but they were uncapped, so they haven't laid a queen in there yet. But if you leave them, they will. Right. And when then queens hatch, they'll just fly away, take half the hive with them. And that's the last thing so, you want, yeah, isn't it? So, but so what we do this that mimics the it reduces that swarming instinct. It's like an artificial swarm, you think. Yeah. About it. Right. So that's it. Okay, brilliant. And this is one you made made earlier, is yeah, it? Like the Blue earlier. Peter fashion. Yeah. Really good, John. I'm really impressed with what I've just been saying on camera. How I'm really impressed how you, you've sort of done all this from scratch rather than just going out and buying it. Oh, it's very tempting, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. But it's satisfaction, though, isn't it, of, of the whole well, thing of doing it yourself? What, what else are you going to do in lockdown? Well, you know, <laughs> the evenings in lockdown. There's only so many conversations you can have. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well, we'll have a look when you uh, when it when uh, Jane gets here. There we are then, down by the beehive. Voice of the beehive, can you hear him talking? <laughs> no, you've got to be a certain age to know what we're on about. There we go. And here's little Harry. Hi, mate. Which one's that? Is that one of your favourites? She would, but she didn't like it. Is that 280? Yeah, that's 344. Oh, 280 is the one that's really friendly, isn't it? Watch the cow poo. The blossom's coming out now, isn't it? Really starting to show. Hello, are you coming to look at the bees? How are you school today, Harry? Good. Do anything exciting? No. What did you do? Art. Art? Art and maths and English. Oh. Like what was the best bit? Art. Art. So there's some bees coming in now, yeah? Yeah, still coming in. All I can see is one's coming out at the moment. There's quite a few there, aren't there? Oh no, there's one coming. It's going to be coming in in a minute. Pretty busy. I'll look at that super bracket there. Okay. There's Dave. Oh, Dave's gone. This is my suit, but you're going to wear it. You can wear it next time, okay? Mine. My suit. Hang on, Harry, let's have a look. Will it fit you? Yes. So you're going to come beekeeping next time, are you? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good. Okay. Which well, you can try on later. Do you want to try on now? Okay. Right, let me just take can it off just, a minute. Is it just the... Take it off. Hang on, I'll take this off. and then Wait, you, you want to take my jumper off? off? No, you can put it on top of the jumper. Okay. Right, put your hands through the handy bits. Oh, it has got a little zip on it. I didn't realise it had a zip on it, so you can... And how is your handy massive. bits? Yeah, well, it's, it's grown-up size. That's good, though. It goes though. over my shoulders. Hang on, let me just pull it down. It's like a skirt. There you go. Can you actually see? Yeah, I can see. Oh, well, that's all right. That's apart, all from, apart from I can, well, I don't need to have the hand because I can just put them out here because, well, it's my like shoulders. It's a robot. Beep, boop, bat. Okay, so well, that's all right, though. It protects you from the bees, though, isn't it? Just remember that bees can sting through that as well. So if you touch it when I'm the bees are... I'm not touching are... that. Yeah. Is it on the back, the net? No. You've only got net at the front, so you can see out the front. Okay. Okay, well, we might just keep you in there. It's like keeping a Harry in a cage. Okay. In captivity. Look how thin the material is, though. It's like daylight. You look quite funny, Harry. It's like some sort of ghost. It's massive. The ghost whisperer. It's massive because it's grown up. like an us. exterminator. You do? Exterminator. What's it like in there? Look, it's a little zip here. What's that do? Which way is that going? Oh, is that maybe to undo the hood? I don't know quite. Ah, there we go. It doesn't seem tickly good. Hello. Hello. Unzip. Unzip you back up. Unzip. There we go. I guess if you if, if you're beekeeping, always make sure that's 
zipped zip, up. Because I watched a person and he didn't zip it up and really? he got a queen in his face. And no it, way. It, he got one on his eye, on uh -oh. his chin and all over him. Not a good idea. Because he, he didn't zip it all the way across. God, that would be a big disaster, wouldn't it? He was trying it? to change the queen and the queen, so the original your... queen managed to get in and stick. Let me unzip you a minute. I don't know whether you can just... I'm not sure what's the point in the zip because it doesn't fold up. Well, perhaps you can do like that. Yeah. Uh, but that's yeah. Okay. Too open. Open. You can still wear it. But because you're gro it. you're a titchy Too witchy. Small. I can't do it. You can't do it, but I could probably do that. Oh, that's good. Oh well, it cost me a tenner. If it's no good, I can get a proper one. Perhaps I should have bought just bought a proper one. You should have just got a child one. Well, I could get you a child one. Yeah. Maybe. Let's well, see how we go. Oh no. What are you doing? I've put the zip. What, zip you, you haven't broken my spencer. Oh no, 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 no. I was just my... trying to zip it from the inside. You know so I had to, to put the zip in. Can I have back now? No. Why not? Fine. What am I going to do? Wow, you've got a jumper. Well, yeah. But... <laughs> Hang on, what about your legs? Oh, okay. That's clever. It's like a B tent. I can live in this. You could. <laughs> Very good. Oh jeez. Very good. Can I have it back now? Okay. Take it off. Yeah. That's it, brother. Well yeah. Thank you. Thank Big. you. Oh, I should wear that now. Thank you. Very much, Mr. Harry. Like you'll have to it. you'll have to leg it away when we start taking the beehive apart, alright? Why? Because otherwise you might get stung. I'll just stand right you can here. Stand here, and then if a bee's come out, you have to run up. away. When you start to pull it up, I'll just leg it. Yeah, that's fine. Just watch you. I can see them going in and out on the uh, light wooded one. Yeah. Are they going in the dark one? They're going in the light one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they do like to see what's going on. What's the plan then, John? Before Jane gets here, what's your plan? <laughs> My plan. It'll change. You're putting your new hive there, yeah? I'm going to take the frames out of that one. Out of that one, into, into that one. That's okay. the plan. That's the plan. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Beamageddon! Here's Jane. Here is the instructor coming to tell us what we're going to be doing. Tell you. Here she is. So what's this? This is what we talked about earlier. Tell uh, us what this is then. Have you looked inside to see if there's Ooh. anything inside? Not in the world. It's like a little cocoon, isn't it? Yeah, is there... No, is there an egg in there? Oh, my goodness. It wasn't sealed, so I don't know. Do so, oh, hang on. Is that... It's hard to tell in this light. That looks like... Can you see there that little sort of crescent shape? Yeah. That looks like that could have been the beginning Ooh. of a queen. Ooh. Like a queen larvae. Oh my goodness, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, just see it. Yeah, see it. Sort of different colour slightly. Okay. Yeah, I can't really, I haven't got a long enough Gosh. nail, but. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that tiny little. Spot. Really small. I, do, I mean, I don't, it's hot, yeah. No, yeah, it, it looks ready, like it's ready, ready, ready to turn it in the light. So, what, what's yeah. going on here then? So, well, there are a number of. Oh, it's really sticky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there are a number of things that could be happening there. There, it could be. Um, it could be that they're superseding the Queen. So, in other words, she's old, they know she's old, and so they know she needs replacing. It could be that, um, that they're preparing to swarm, which is the kind of the colony's natural yeah. way of reproducing itself. Yeah. Um, it's big. Or, or it could be emergency cells if the Queen had, I mean, no, you said that you've seen brood in all yeah, stages, haven't stacks, you? So yeah. it won't be those. But and that's the other way, other reason you could have Queen cells. And they were down towards the bottom of the frames as yeah, well. Let's so look at that thing you sent me. You so found a few of that, those, haven't you? It could be swarm cells yeah. onto that. So you're lucky well, you were doing this then? Mm. Mm. Uh, well, I out. think we, we responded <laughs> to the fact that you have those yes. in order to do this because um, you, it sounds like they're a really strong colony, so they may well be building up to swarm. Yeah, well, you see them when you take them out, every frame just run with them. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. it? it is brilliant. Good, I'm yeah. loving this. Yeah, it's it's really exciting. So about doing the propolis, uh, not propolis, uh, the uh, race comp, all the way down the side they've done as well. 
don't know what to make of that because I've ripped it out once and they've just done it again. We'll have a look. Right. So you do you do get, you know, colonies have kind of characteristics and sometimes you just get a colony that love building comb right. and will just build brace comb all over the place, other colonies. What is brace comb then, you said? So brace comb is it's basically the bits of comb that you don't want. That grow um, outside the frame sort of thing. Yeah, right. So um, you stick everything together. I've seen it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's because they've run out of space yeah. and they'll build some extra comb. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't know the, yeah. you know, all the reasons for mm. um, for building it, but they, you know, they just have, yeah, as I say, they have I different got any gloves. I'm in my 999B suit. <laughs> it'll do for a video, but I'm not going to be doing gonna beekeeping with it. No, it'll, it's, uh, it'll fair, be... Fair weather beekeeping. Yeah, too. definitely. I didn't realise... Well, yours is beautifully white and mine's absolutely well, filthy. It'll do for today, but I don't think I'll be doing beekeeping in it. <laughs> Only to do a video. Maybe maybe just worth keeping for when you go on, go to the uh, east coast of scotland i think i think yeah something. i think that's exactly <laughs> it jane or fancy dress yeah. <laughs> mostly fancy dress beekeeping fancy dress yeah sure there's a niche there somewhere oh there? yeah oh. there's <laughs> a bee around me now this like this 999 suit is not going to last very long right i'm stood in their flight path i think <laughs> harry are you ready to run yeah. right so before you start, what's your plan? Do we need to set those frames out, do we? Right. So yes, that's a good idea. Let's have a plan before we actually open them up. So what we want to do here is we'll go take them all out. Yeah. Just eight, yeah. So Six. what? So what we want to do is we want to take the 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 eggs and the brood, or or a large quantity of eggs and brood and nurse bees into here. Okay. And then we want to Please. hopefully leave the queen, queen and the there. flying bees in there. Okay, queen stays, brood some goes. Food, some food as well, yeah? And we want food in here. Right. Food well, the food's easy, there's lots of food. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's do this. Right. Okay. <sighs> if I run away, it's because I've got bees on me. Yeah, let's put it the other way. Okay. Ooh. Already. Yeah. What are all the numbers on the sides for? Oh, just so I can keep track of uh, this is very when, I made the, when I made it. So you, you say you're supposed to re rotate them every five yeah. years or so. So I'll just lift this off. That's pretty pretty chill, that, isn't it? Just put this over here. If you put it in your upside down, um, if you put, if you put the yeah, upside on. down yeah. and then put that on it, and then if any bees come out, it will just go straight yeah, back in true. rather I'm than drop through the hole. Yeah, sort of put that kind of diagonal. Yeah. There you go. So, all right. They are pretty round in there, aren't they? So let's take this bad boy off. Put the look underneath. Make sure the queen's not on the bottom of it. I don't know what I'm looking for, it's so cool. It's chilled, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. That rolls like that, mate, when sting you, mate. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a variation, is there? Sometimes yeah. they can be Gosh, yeah. really again, nasty. Again, colonies have personalities. Right. So when you get into, not, not that I am, but people who get into queen rearing mm. will breed specifically for characteristics really? like being really calm. Um, so yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're not fussing. It's so not I mean, just look perfect. It's just absolutely it rounded them. Sorry? It's just round on the sides. Oh, yeah, you can they, see they, down yeah. there. Wow, look at that. It's absolute chocker. That's amazing. Goodness. All right, so let's do this. Just that all came from that little box you got. That's yeah, yeah. incredible, isn't it? So yeah, these it. have got honey, what? stacks of honey. Okay. Uh, that one's honey. Okay. That one's honey with a bit of brood. Okay. And all the, that's this new one I put in. I thought they fill the brood, but they fill that with honey for some reason. Okay. Let's go, let's go through our quick look, shall we? Yeah, should we take the end one out? Yeah. So take the end one with honey on. Check, just have a quick check for the queen. Oh, they're starting to get a bit busy now. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay here. Yeah, that's a new one. That's a new one. So that. they've already drawn that out and filled that. I can't even look at it. That's fantastic. Oh wow! Right, see, that's so honey on there, then, is it? Yeah. So that's honey Goodness. and these bits. Can you see those? Yeah. Bits I can there? see that's sort of the so that's darker pollen. cells. All oh, right. Okay, that's the pollen. Yeah. 
And they'll convert that into honey, so, will they? No, there's no. no the, I'm so naive, so I don't the, know. No, no, no. That's, so this, the, the honey is made from nectar, so mm. they collect the nectar. Yeah. They then evaporate off the water and that then becomes honey, whereas the, the pollen is food for the, the um, oh, okay. for the brood. So that's the protein to feed the brood. Wow. So, so should we take that frame? So I'll just check. Well, I suppose we could just give this one, couldn't we? Yeah, just make, give them a really full one as well, or a couple yeah. of full ones. Yeah. They're all on the bottom as well, look at them. Gosh, they're just rammed all over it, aren't they? I'm oh, starting check. to get a bit excited now. She hasn't sneaked onto there for some I mean, generally, she's here. You can, in fact, as you hold it up to the light, look, you can yes. see where the pollen yes, is, can't you? Definitely. As opposed to the nectar. Wow. Right. Yeah, they're hanging off in a cluster, aren't they? That, they're yeah. all clinging together. Right. Very gentle when you put that in there, aren't they? Nickels. Goodness. Oops. There we go. Right. Honey. How many frames are you moving out? Six. Six. Awesome. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And you're leaving. How many in there? Twelve then, are there? Twelve. Yeah. So you leave six in each. Man, this one's heavy. Ooh, look at that. Goodness me, they're starting to get lively. <laughs> That's just rammed with honey. Wow. Look at but that. But you, you know, you can see they're not fussing. They're just quietly yeah. looking around on the cone. And down there, wow! I can really see them in there. Yeah. Goodness me, they are that starting to ramp, form a bit of yeah. around me. This is a definitely a two man job, isn't it? Or two person job, two I person should say. So, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's uh, on your own, it's a bit. Right, so we're looking for. Are you looking for the queen or what yeah. are you looking for? Yeah, just making sure. Well, I she's mean, bigger than the rest, isn't she? Because we're, hoping, because we're hoping they'll raise a. Um, an emergency queen. Mm -hmm. See it, the uncapped stuff down here. So they'll produce her, their own queen then, if they haven't got one. Oh, Ooh, blimey. Well, Ooh. I'm just going to back off a minute. <laughs> I'm just going over here. Oh. Shit. I can hear them if I can't see them. What is going on here? Get off. Can you see any more bees right? Oh blimey. I'm a bit scared now. Woo. In my 999 flipping bee suit I'd <laughs> I might go back in a minute. I'm just gonna walk away. Because I could hear them buzzing and I've <laughs> I've got no faith in this rubbish thing I bought. Oh, was it say penny wise pound foolish or something like that? I, th I should have just spent an extra 15 quid and got a decent one. This is crap. Right, let's get back. Ooh, that's loaded. Right, this has got lots of brood. They're all quite excitable now. There are a lot of bees here. Not from here, I think. Yeah, can I just grab? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I got you. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm just going to work. I'm going. I'll, um, I'll come back in a bit. <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's definitely... Uh, a place that I think I'll just stay away from for a little bit. What we'll do is I'll just go over here and just look from afar and with the zoom and then we'll we'll get to when they're nearly finished at the end and then uh, we'll have a little chat with them then.
What are you looking for on this? So it's the tiniest, tiniest little eggs. eggs. Why do you want the eggs? Is that so that they, you know that it will produce a queen? Yes, the only, because that's, that's what they will turn into. Okay, so they'll manage to turn it into a queen. Incredibly, yes. Amazing. They'll, they'll feed it differently. Yeah. And an egg that was going to become a worker will then become a queen. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, backing off. I got bees stuck to me again. Jesus, this is getting a bit scary. Oh, they're buzzing around me. Right, they're on. I think the last frame now. I think the bees are after the cows. I got a feeling one might have been stung. I got a feeling one might have been stung. That one there. <laughs> They've gone. Oh, they're after me now, not the cows. Can you see them? They, uh, they don't like it. They don't like it when I turn up. I'm going to have to change my bee aftershave. Ooh, there's one just here. What do you want? Not yet. It's not temp fate. Right. I'm good at running. All going back together. Well done. Down there, put this back on top. I'm number one hive, so it gets a ratchet strap. <laughs> okay. Raise the brood, and then they'll be. So how did that go? Let's finish up this little video. Just a five, two minutes of your time telling me how, what you achieved there and how it went. Uh, I think it went well. Didn't get stung, which was a win. Yeah, that's a bonus <laughs> on the last two times you visited. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not in the woods yet, uh, but so yeah, it went really well, I thought. Yeah. There was a point I think I heard you say, you're putting brood and food across. So yes. so what was it? Three of each? What, what was that? Three frames of brood, three yeah. frames of food have gone across. So the food was what? Nectar, was it? Uh, yeah, nectar, well, honey. honey. Yeah, honey. So they'll use that while they're... Yeah. So, so the idea now is both hives will expand, will they? Well, we found a queen cell while you were away. Right. Uh, that had something in it. Okay. So we've let, we've transferred the queen cell across to that. Yeah. So they'll raise that as a queen. Okay. And they'll basically, what was it that's... And we're really hoping the other queen, the original queen, is in there. But if right. she isn't, what they will do is raise an emergency queen wow. from some of the eggs that we left in there. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, which will then mean that you've got two colonies rather than one. That's amazing though. I never knew you could split a hive. Yeah. That's just amazing. I have increased my bee, bee population. Absolutely. Hive. Well, not the population yet, just the hives. Yeah. 100%. Wow, good man. That's impressive. Isn't How it? many times can you split a hive? Oh, no. 
I don't know the answer to that. Can I you think, just keep I mean, doing it after they get bigger and bigger or not? If they got bigger and bigger, I suppose possible. theoretically really? you yeah. could. I mean, you would get, you might not get, if you were after a honey crop, mm. then Why are you you'd, be, you'd be foregoing that right. for the sake of yeah. um, more colonies. But okay. I, I mean, you can certainly split be. a that's colony that's several got. times. Okay. I don't know, I don't know so that's a way of building your stock up then, yeah, really. Absolutely. Once you've started, yeah. someone can expand by doing that that's amazing i it had no amazing. idea yeah. Yeah, I didn't. this is real uh, jane i john's learning i'm learning on this I'm, this is i'm learning this is We're brilliant learning, though i think this whole project is really yeah. wonderful what you guys are doing you know blossoms coming out just in time just in time on that one yeah, that's a russet there that's um that's a jupiter that apple there behind you anyway it is Edges. And there's plenty of there's a cow, cow slip over there. I can just see a cow slip yeah, over there. Lovely. That's where I put a wildflower I mix actually. I don't know if they, they, I don't know if they use cow slips or not. I'm sure they they're going to try everything, I expect. <laughs> we'll see what we, we'll see what we find. But certainly blossom is. Perfect. Yeah. And yeah, the birds are singing. I've not seen anything buzzing, but last, last time, seriously, the first time, I was probably near to that tree. Yeah. When it, it just one went straight from it. Mm. Well, that be, yeah. Straight you the took your, your hood off, didn't you? Yeah. And it was like, oh dear. I thought it was yeah. safe because I shut the gate. Never mind. So, you know, like All right. Gate, safe, Brilliant. Absolutely. Well done, guys. Yeah, you know, the, the gates are not a barrier to the beans, I'm afraid. <laughs>